guys. It's Brian again from Lake Hickory School of Marina. And I got my daughter Tessa here, and Tessa's been really good all week at school. And when she does good at school, we actually bring her here to the pool diving. If I'll pan the camera around here, you'll see we've got other students in the pool tonight. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with my daughter, but I wanted to make a quick video for you ladies out there. First of all, I'm not a lady, I am a guy. However, I have been in this industry a very, very long time. And I wanna give the ladies a little pointer. If you happen to be in the same situation as my daughter where you have this long, beautiful flowing hair, sometimes that can cause trouble when you're trying to seal your mask, not necessarily to your face, but when you're trying to seal the mask or, or the, the strap itself to your head. And I'm gonna show you a little pointers that I give a lot of ladies out there. And I know it helps out Tessa, so I'm gonna show you how we do her hair anytime that she's trying to get her mask on. But before I do that, I wanna show you some of the problems. So Tessa, if you will, go ahead and put your mask on for me. Every time. <laughs> Pull the strap, there you go. Now, one thing that you notice, she put her mask on first and then she pulled her strap over. That's a good thing. I see a lot of people try to put their strap on, then they'll pull their mask down. And what that does is that causes all these bangs to kind of pull down. You never want to do that. You always want to put your mask on and pull your strap over. But if she turns sideways, you'll see the strap is way down here below her ears. We don't want that. We want that strap actually up above the ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the strap up above her ears. But now the problem we run into, you'll see her her pigtails there or ponytail starting to get in the way and it's just a clotted mess and it's really a pain to deal with you already got them out yeah. cool and it's just too much trouble now obviously she could cut her hair but i can tell you right now as her father she's never going to cut her hair i love her long beautiful hair you can't get it stuck yes so how about we fix that problem so we're, we're not going to have trouble underwater and we don't have trouble up here right no, it's hurting my ears hurting your ears all right take it off we're going to show everybody how how we fix the problem it's and hopefully stuck. it's always stuck and hopefully this will help you ladies out as well so turn around for me we're going to take her pigtails and we're going to get rid of these little scrunchies what, what is it you and mommy call them hair ties. hair ties very good like i said guys i'm not a girl i'm a guy i can, really don't know what these things are called Ow. sorry we're going to get these hair ties out here the best i can without ripping her hair out we should have got them out before we got them. We probably should have Especially before your hair got soaking wet. All right. We about got this one. I don't think I pulled too many strands of hair out. What? <laughs> Let's see if we can get the rest of this one out. Hopefully I won't have to cut your pigtails off. Yeah. You won't. Hope not. Except maybe this one. Yeah. This one's kind of tied in a knot here. Uh, I should have cut my hair out. <laughs> Alright, we got one out. Let's get this other one out. Let's see if Daddy can do it without pulling your hair out. Okay. Alright, we got our pigtails out. Now, turn to so the camera can see you. This is one of the things that I do with Tessa's hair, and I actually recommend to all my female students doing if they have long hair. This is really gonna help prevent that hair just flopping around, which does make some cool underwater shots. However, it's not very practical, so hopefully this little tip will help you. So go ahead and turn around for me. The first thing you're gonna do is split the hair into three different sections, just like you're gonna do a braid, and that's actually what we're gonna do. Okay? We're braiding your hair. How'd you know? Okay? Yeah. Now, Obviously, we're going to braid her hair all the way down, but we want that braid super duper tight because what we want the hair to do is actually sit flat against her head like that. Now, by braiding it, it's going to keep all this from flopping around underwater, but by braiding it very tight, it's going to give a good flat spot for her mask strap to set flat on. So I'm going to do just a quick braid here. See if we can get this done. Where's my bandage I don't know. What'd you do with it? I don't know. You must have it And I know some of you ladies are probably cringing right now how I'm doing this, but trust me, it works when you're underwater. going to take a hair tie here. We're going to finish it off the bottom. Okay. 
okay? Now, we've got a good flat spot, but the problem with it is we still got a lot of flop here, so we're gonna have to get rid of that flop. Now, another cool thing that you can do is actually do a ponytail first and do a pretty high ponytail, so way up here, and then you're gonna braid that ponytail just as tight as you can get it. But what I actually like to do is to braid it first, and then I'm gonna get it as tight as I can at the base of her neck, and I'm gonna put another, what do you call them, hair ties? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put one here at the very base of her neck. Ow. That hurt? I'm sorry. Ow. All right, so now we have a good solid flat spot back here. So now Tessa, turn around, put your mask on for everybody. <laughs> you don't think it'll work? We'll see if it works. Stick your strap here. Keep it up above your ears. All right, as we can see now, the strap is above her ears. It's not scrunching her ears down as well. I've got a nice flat spot. Her ponytail is actually pulled down. It's actually a braided ponytail now. And what that's gonna prevent is her hair from flopping around during the dive as well. I've seen some female divers who don't use, say, a mass strap cover. They'll actually put their hair through the mass strap itself. But the problem with that is is it's gonna prevent you from taking it off. So as Tessa pulls her hair out this way, to put her ponytail over the top, the problem she runs in now, go ahead and turn around. So everybody, your strap cover is actually over her ears and we don't want that. And show them what happens when you take your mask off. It's stuck. It's stuck, right? So typically underwater it would be stuck because it'd catch on her bow. So anytime if you've got long hair, if you do a tight braid, with a low ponytail, you don't want a high ponytail, but a tight braid with a low ponytail, it's gonna create a nice flat spot for your strap to kind of lay flat on it. And go ahead and turn around, put your mask on one more time. It will get my mask on. It probably will. I don't like it. There you go, put the mask on and pull the strap. All right, now I want you to do a mask drill. Take your mask off just like we do underwater. Comes right off and how do we put it back on? Very good, mask first and strap. And as you can see, she doesn't have that problem that she normally would. Does that feel any better? That's right, you clear through your nose, right? Okay. All right, you ready to get back in the water? Yeah. All right, go splash. <laughs> no, go splash. Go ahead. Very good. All right guys, so hopefully that helped you out for all the lady divers out there. If you'll do that real tight braid with a real low ponytail, I think it'll help you out a lot, especially if you have trouble with your mask. Try not to get in the habit of pulling your ponytail either through the strap cover or even over the strap cover, because that can cause some troubles whenever you're taking your mask on and off. But try this tip out and let me know down in the comment section below if that helps you out. If you got any suggestions for female divers out there, please put that down in the comment section below and let me know what you do to help you out if you got a lot of free flowing hair out there. Guys, I hope you liked this tip. If you did, smash that like button for me and definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.